Have you ever wondered about the darker side of samurai culture? Well, my name's Anthony Cummins and I publish this, Samurai Death Cult by Anthony Cummins. And I want to explain to you the reason why I've had to self-publish it and not publish it like the rest of my books. Now, it's available on Kindle, it's available on um, <coughs> hardback and in paperback. And I'm going to take you through why it's the darker side. So about four years ago, I started making this for an, a small imprint. And when I produced the first draft, they were like, Jesus Christ, that's, you can't say things like that. They sent me away. So uh, I went back, streamlined it, took out all the really, really dodgy stuff that I spoke about and gave it back to them. But still, they were like, nope, that's too much. We, we can't publish that. So what sort of things am I talking about? Well, for example, child soldiers. Nobody ever realises that the samurai are child soldiers. That's it. That's what they do. They are indoctrinated from a young age and are indoctrinated into murder and dictatorship, basically. A feudal system based on murder and dictatorship. Now, this is the same as all over Africa. So, and in the Islamic State and places like that. And because I've mentioned these things, they were like, you can't. So, basically, it's Islam. We can't talk about Islam. You can't talk about it. You can't say things like that. But look, it's the truth. And if you see the sort of jihadists and things like that, then you're looking very similar at samurai who would do absolutely anything for loyalty for their lord. They were backed with Confucian ideas to go out and kill the enemy. Now, not all of them, some of them did then use their own minds and swap sides and try and gain power. So samurai basically divided into those who are power hungry and trying to get on the right side and those who are fanatics for their lord. And there, there's, a, there's a basic division. Of course, it's a much more subtle story than that, but they're the two, two ways you really get into, or the two dimensions you can put samurai into. Now, after I'd removed all the personal things, all the sort of like my personal journey, difficulties with this, the idea of that, how do we associate ourselves with warriors and all that, I still was being knocked back, even by really left-wing, open-minded publishers. Now, and they thought it was too right-wing, and I'm like, whoa, 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 no, 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 it's not. They were like, you're glorifying death and killing and murder. I said, no, 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 no. I'm explaining the facts about death and murder and child soldiers. And I'm telling you, it's the wrong thing to do. We shouldn't be producing child soldiers. We shouldn't be glorifying child soldiers. But they didn't quite understand it. They called it the far right book. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's actually about as left wing as you're ever going to get. Because this is saying, don't do those things. But it's explaining why they were done. Underage sex. Well, this was another difficult one. The age for consent is so different all over the world. That actually, whoever reads it would have a different reaction. So samurai had sex with people of a certain age. Whoever reads that, depending on which country they're from, will have a different reaction. So in some of the Islamic countries, they're like, as long as they're married, do whatever they want at whatever age. If it's in England, well, they're under 16, that's horrendous. In some states of America, well, they're under 21, you can't do that. You know what I mean? Oh, I went through all these different places and it turns out they really, the publishers really didn't really want to go down the avenue of child soldiers, child prostitution, try all that they were like, I'm like, it's just simple facts. These are simple facts collected. And the aim is to show you, be careful about what you worship in the samurai world. It's not always as good as you think. So what's the point of the book? The point of the book is basically, I want to show you readers that just tone things down a bit. We've got the book of Bushido here and it's fine to love the great side of the samurai. And we do, we love their battles. We love everything that they do. We're like, oh, this is great. Their art is wonderful. But hey, hold on a minute. I need to pull that back down a bit and give you a bit of a, you know, a reality check. These are brutal medieval warriors. And why we can, if you over focus on this, you'll get the wrong image. But at the minute, we're over-focused way too far this way on how lovely and nice and peaceful and zen-like the samurai warriors were. That's the brutal truth. So if you want a more realistic view of the samurai, this is it. This will balance your view. I've made it as cheap as Amazon would possibly let me. Absolutely as cheap as they would let me. That That's it. So... $2 for Amazon and as close to as cheap as I can get it for these. So do click the links below. So get yourself a copy. Please review the book on Amazon and subscribe to this channel to get more real content. 
and what I'm trying to do is get rid of the the dreamlike state we have the the Disneyfied state of samurai and bring you back to the reality of it but also giving you a balanced view between Bushido the art of war the dark side of Japan the the magic the mayhem the ninjas just to give you that little bit of good context there so I hope that helps guys please support me by getting a copy of the book and please support all the YouTube creators and of course subscribe here all the best my name is Anthony Cummins and if you're a new viewer welcome if you're an old viewer thanks for the continued support